Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill out a contact form using Selenium. And the contact form we're using is on my website here, jonathannorth.com. And this is the contact form. It's a WP Contact Form 7 or something like that, just a WordPress site. There are four fields, name, email, subject, message, and then a submit button. We're going to automatically put uh, text in each one of these fields and click submit. I'll show you exactly how to do that. So the above and beyond what you would normally need to run your Selenium web driver, this is the critical uh, uh, module, this buy module. The buy mag module gives us, uh, if you see I click down here, this is how we're selecting each one of the variables. It's by name, and then the submit button is by class name. So I'm going to show you how to match up each one of these. This is just this is just for edification here about this module. <clears throat> the buy module gives us a di different options to select our element from the web page: the tag name, the class name, partial link text, CSS selector. So, so without the uh, without the buy module, this won't work. So make sure you have that first and foremost. Here we're setting the path to our Chrome driver. We're setting some basic options, like we're not going to run it headless. Headless is just uh, showing, is just running it in the background. So if it's true, it would run in the background. We wouldn't see a browser window. But I have it set to false, so it's not a big deal. So step one to getting uh, a contact form automatically filled out is first we have to find the page of the contact form. In this case. This is the page. It corresponds with this URL up here, the contact me form. Once we do driver.get, driver.get, and then the contact form, just like that, we then need to select the first element, the first web element. To do that, I've written created this variable, select underscore box, underscore name, and we're gonna set it to equal driver dot find element, and make sure it's singular. There's another method that's very similar to this called elements, which will return in a list, but we don't want that. So make sure it's singular, find underscore element, by equals by dot name, and then the value, you know, comma, and then the value, your name. So where does this come from? Your name. Your name comes from here. So we click into our input box and we click inspect and it brings up the inspector. You just do it twice. So we just clicked inspect twice there and it takes us right to the uh, element itself. So see here, name, input type, text equals name. You know, if, if that name wasn't there and it might not be there in your instance, then you would use class. So we, we would use the class name and then use a different uh, a different method of selecting it. So here, so class name, name. So, so you could either change this to class name and then use this WPCF7-form-control. You could do that or you can do it by name. But in this case, we're just doing it by name. So, we, so we've selected it. And then we're going to click it with select underscore box underscore name dot click. That will click the element. And then we're, I, I put a sleep in there just because when I illustrate this, I'm going to show you it, it, it filling out in real time. And then select underscore box underscore name send keys. So the send keys method will send uh, keys. Who, who would have thought? And then it will say, this is my name. And that's what that will be. And that will fill into this. It will say, this is my name. Same thing with the rest of the uh, elements. We go to the next one, which is your email. Inspect it. The name here is your dash email. You can see that match up to here. You can see the click that we just did, select underscore box underscore name, send keys, and then we send a, an email in there. Simple, right? 
Do the same thing with subject. Subject. Name. Your subject. This is my subject. Your subject. And then with the submit button, we had to use a different method of selecting that element because there was no name attribute. Whoops. Misclick there, excuse me. Inspect. Input type equals submit. Value equals submit. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Class equals WPCF7-form-control has spinner WPCF7-submit. So we used, instead of by name, we did it by class name, which is a different way of selecting that element, and then passed in the value WPCF7-submit, and then we click. So let's run it, and you'll see each item get filled in with a one second space between each one. This is my name, this is my email, <laughs> this is my subject, this is my message, submitted, thank you, your message has been sent. Simple enough. That's a very basic way of filling out a very basic web form using Python and Selenium. If you like this uh, tutorial, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And I also ask you leave me any feedback in the comments about what, how I can improve these tutorials because I can really only do it if you tell me uh, tell me what's wrong, what you like, what you don't like. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.